Friday Night Live. It's the season finale. Rise up, rise up. It's the season finale. Hey, let's give the Lord a hand for the things he's done for so much of FNL. Let's praise the Lord right now. If you will, just give the Lord a hand, clap of praise. God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for the years of faithfulness. We thank you for the hundreds, if not thousands, of people ministered to. For, Lord, you allowed us to reach, God, not only within ourselves, but within our community, God, but in different areas in the globe. We want you coming, join us online. If you don't know already, this is the season finale for FNL. We're so glad to have you all here. It is a little nostalgic. It is a, a bittersweet moment, but it is awesome for what God is doing in and through us. I can't wait for the next chapter. I'm glad you're here tonight. Psalm 34, 8 tells us, taste and see that the Lord is good. And tonight, let's taste and see. We're not, he didn't say eat and see if the Lord is good. He said taste. When you taste, you savior, you consider you consider what you're eating the same way when we take a God's word or we stand in his presence, we sing about him, we consider the things that he's doing. So as you sing tonight, as you praise him, as you listen, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Lord, may you be exalted in all that we do. Praise you, Jesus. Remain standing. Let's praise. Safe in the Savior's hand. You are more than my words can say. I'll follow you, Lord, for all my days. I'll place my eyes following your ways. Forever free in your end of grace. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher.
church tonight, giving you all of our praise with hearts of gratitude. We love you, Father, for all this is in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen, church. High five a friend, hug a neighbor as you grab your seat. God bless you. Man, what a time and what a beautiful season that we're in. Welcome, friends, to VBC. Welcome to Friday Night Life. We are so encouraged and so blessed to have you guys here with us. I believe tonight is going to be legit. I believe that the Lord is going to reveal so many things to us. And um, even though today is a season finale of Friday Night Life, I just want to encourage you guys to um, always trust in the process of what God is doing in your life and know that his hands are always and still working in your life. And um, I just know that the vision that the Lord has for our church not only is going to promote us as individuals, but also promote us as a, as a church and let us allow us to grow in our faith. And I'm just so blessed to be a part of a church who, that can devote their time and their life to um, just being one and being still with God. And it's just what a beautiful, what a beautiful season that we're in and what a time that we're in. Amen. At this time, we want to continue our praise and our worship with God. And how we can do that is through our giving and our offering. And whether you are new to the church or whether this is your home church, uh, we don't ever want you guys to feel reluctant to give. And uh, like I always say, as long as we do it from the heart, that's the only thing that matters. So let's join and together and pray over the offering. Dear Heavenly Father God, we just, we just thank you so much, Lord. We're so grateful for this time and so grateful for who you are, God, and giving us free will and giving us choice, God. And we come here, Lord, and we just want you, God, and more of you, Lord. And Lord, we just present you this offering, Lord, and ask that you bless it, God, and that you multiply it, Lord, and you use it, God. And Lord, we just ask that you use us, Lord, as an instrument to your kingdom, God, and just shackle us in your presence, God, and never allow us to leave, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What's good, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us for our season finale of Friday Night Life. A warm hello to all of our new guests and for those watching online, thanks for tuning in. Before I let you go, I've got a few updates for you. First up, registration for VBS 2017 has already begun. Slots are filling up pretty fast, so if you haven't done so already, be sure to register with one of our members after service. This year's theme is called Galactic Starveyors, Discovering the God of the Universe. During the week of VBS, we will search the stars far and beyond to uncover God's truth etched in His blueprints. This galactic journey will take place during the week of June 12th to 16th from 7 to 9.30, so make sure you mark it on your calendars. And this Sunday, we will have a kickoff rally to launch up this year's VBS, so strap on your space boots and I will see you there. 
And lastly, this is to all fathers and father figures out there. Your time is coming. On June 18th, we at BBC would like to carve out a special day to celebrate all that you do. So join us on Father's Day as we will have combined service with both English and Vietnamese at 11 a.m. Afterwards, we will head out to Stewart Beach for our annual Father's Day Fellowship at 3 p.m. To make this day even more special, we will be enjoying a potluck made by you. And here's how you can contribute. For our Vietnamese adults, we ask that you bring your famous Vietnamese dishes and a variety of food because vitamin C is important. To the youth, you will be on beverage duty, so be sure to bring many types of water, juices, and soda with ice, it is Texas, and Texas is hot. For my fellow young adults, your focus will be on snacks and desserts. These can range anything from chips to veggie sticks to cookies and even cupcakes. And lastly, for our young married couples and families, you will be in charge of their protein and finger foods. These would range from fried chicken, chicken nuggets, pizza, hot dogs, barbecue, the whole nine yards. If it makes your belly happy, then you're on the right track. And that's it. Now, without further ado, let's get the show, let's get the show on the road. What is good, church? What is good? I'm so happy that you guys are here. I'm so happy that y'all can be a part of this day. And today we're going to celebrate something else that's exciting that's happening in the lives of some of the um, VVC students that are actually here. Um, what we're going to do today is celebrate um, three out of the handful of students that we have that are graduating or already graduated. So they're going to be going from high school to college. So let's give them a round of applause right there. I, I remember... I remember my transition during that time from going from high school to college and not knowing and not understanding what was going on and I was scared and I was worried. I didn't, I, I became the senior and then now I'm becoming the fish again. I, I didn't know. And what I do know and what I do know that I can lean on or I was leaning on during that time was God. And I want to start off their journey, the church wants to start off their journey by leaning on God. And so... At this time, I'll, I'm going to be calling each student up, and I personally had the privilege and the honor of being able to be their pastor this past year or the years before, and just to see the growth that they had from where they were to where they are now, they have grown and they have matured into fine adults. They are people that I'm looking forward to, to going out into our society that can make a change. And I know that the people that graduated will make a change in the world today. So the first person that I want to introduce is Ashley Wang. Everybody give her a hand. Ashley, if you can come up here and stand to my right, we have a gift to give to you. Ashley is going to uh, focus on architecture through environmental design. All right. Just you can stand right on this side. The next person that we want to introduce is Brittany Wang, and she will be focusing on business administration. Brittany. And lastly, the person that we will introduce is Roman Andrade. He will be continuing his education at Lee College this fall. These are our graduates. Let's give them a round of applause. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask Pastor Khan to come up. And church, I would love for us to join in prayer to pray their journey through from high school to college. Pastor Khan. Will you stand and extend your hand toward them? Let's pray that the Lord will uh, lead them, guide them into this new chapter in their life. They will face with a lot of um, opposition for their faith uh, as they enter into this um, environment. So we want to pray for protection. We want to pray that God will bless them and most of all will cause them to be a blessing to their college, to the school that they um, enter. As, uh, God wants them to be a blessing, be, a, be salt and light in their um, new environment. Father, we thank you for Ramont and we ask that you will uh, bless him and continue to pour out your blessing uh, over him, Lord. Give him favor. Give him the wisdom uh, and, Lord, the intelligence to study not only good academically, but, Lord, that he can build his life to get ready to enter into 
uh, society as a workforce. We thank you, Lord, uh, for his life and the time that he uh, grew here at VBC. Now, Lord, we uh, continue to uh, support him with our prayer, and Lord, that we um, ask that you will bless him and cause him to be a blessing to the student, the professor, the people that he will in touch, cause him to be salt and light in um, his environment, Lord. We thank you, Lord, in advance for the fruit will come out from his um, college year. We thank you, Lord. We give him and trust him in your grace, uh, grace that have saved him also, enabling him to the, do the calling that you have for his life. We thank you, Lord. And we pray for the twin right now that you will bless them in an amazing way, Lord, that you uh, will cause them to be a blessing. We know that you have blessed our life to overflow so we can touch and, and, and bring blessing to uh, many more people because you want us to ever increase and, Lord, multiply it in our life. Ask that you will protect um, all of them, Lord, um, in the new environment when we know that there is some profession and people who are hostile to their faith, uh, to the Christian faith. We ask for protection. We ask that you will help them, Lord, every day put on the helmet of salvation. They will protect their mind, and, Lord, that they will walk um, circumspectly that every time that they enter into uh, that environment, Lord, that they will be in a place ready to serve, ready to um, bring the gospel and influence on people. We ask that you will bless them, cause them to be salt and light um, to the school and to the people that you will place them with. We thank you, Lord. We entrust them in your grace, grace that have uh, saved them, also in the grace that enabling them uh, to uh, obey it and walk out the calling that you have for their life. We thank you, Lord. We bless them with the intelligence. We ask that you will bless them with the ability uh, to study and do well in school. And most of all, Lord, be fruitful in the new uh, place that you place them, new chapter in their life. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give a hand Amen. for our graduates. Amen. <clears throat> if you guys can have a seat, please turn your attention to the screens.
so much for being a part of this moment. We thank you so much for being a part of this day. And I am so excited to open up, to be able to share just a reflection of what Friday Night, Fly, Friday Night Life was like for me. And just watching that video, and I put the video together actually last night, and I was crying in some of the scenes because it was some of the first times that we actually met each other. Or it was some of the first times that we actually spoke in public. It was my first time speaking on the pulpit was on a Friday Night Live. It was Kevin Tran's first time doing announcement and speaking on the pulpit on a Friday Night Live. It was my first time experiencing being able to see families come because the stem from one of the family members praying and then all of a sudden throughout the time, another family member would come and another family member would come. For me, something that was dear to my heart was it was my first time experiencing um, Fung in particular. I was able to talk to Fung one day on, on, on a lock-in actually that happened and I said, Fung, I think you could bring friends to church. She goes, I don't have any friends. I said, I think you do. And the crazy thing that stemmed from that, she had courage. And after every single Friday Night Life, we would see a new friend and a new friend and a new friend. And from one of those friends stemmed a different friend. And from one of those friends stemmed a different friend. And because of that, we have a lot of you guys here. And I'm so happy to be a part of that and so happy to be able to experience that because that's something that y'all can take from Friday Night Life. And this is to everyone is this, don't give up. If you're praying for one of your family members, if you're praying for one of your friends, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep praying for them. Keep pushing for them. That's something that I learned about Friday Night Life. Friday Night Life was a place where when I came, I understood to not give up because God can do all things. God can push for me to get a job if I needed one. God can push for me to have a family member get saved. God can push for me to get a raise at my job. God can do his thing and work. And that's what I learned in Friday Night Life. The crazy thing is Friday, Friday Night Life may be coming to an end as in Friday Night Life itself, but that doesn't stop. It doesn't stop us hanging out. It doesn't stop us growing together. It doesn't stop us enjoying each other's company. It doesn't stop our fellowship. It actually starts it even more. It starts the fact that we get to hang out outside of a church setting on a Friday. I'll see you at the bowling alley. I'll see you at the restaurant. I'll see you at your house. You'll see me at my house. When I move down here, my house is open on Fridays. I'll see y'all at my house on Fridays. Right, babe? Yeah, she's watching. I'll see y'all. Who knows? I might start a Bible study at my house on Fridays, and y'all are welcome to come. The thing about Friday night closing is something gets to open and something beautiful. We get to move Friday night life everywhere in the city on Friday. Friday night life happens at my house, at Miss Diana's house, at Kevin's house, at Pastor Michael's house, at Min's house, at Son and Kiara's house, at the Garza house. It moves. Friday night life gets to move and stem and be a part everywhere in the city. And what I want us to change and change our, 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 our wording is this. It's not Friday night life anymore. We're VBC Houston. VBC Houston changes from being every day of the week, wherever you are, because VBC Houston is who we are a part of. We're a part of a church. We're a part of a family. And with that being said, spread your family throughout this city. Spread your family everywhere. Invite your family and friends to a, a church member's house. Invite your family or invite one of your coworkers that you've been praying for to come hang out on Friday if we have a, a gathering at the bowling alley or something. Invite someone. This is your opportunity and your chance for the ones that you've been praying for that said, I don't think I can do church. I don't think I can go to a building that they talk about Jesus. It's okay. Because I've got friends and family that want to hang out with you at this restaurant and bring them to the restaurant if we have an event. I heard, I'm not able to be a part of it, but there's a crawfish thing that used to happen every Wednesday or so or Monday, whatever day it was. I wasn't able to be a part of it, but there was a lot of you guys that were able to socialize and gather. I want to remind you something, though. When you gather and you fellowship, don't forget. Don't forget the things that we learned at Friday Night Life and apply it. Apply it. Apply the fact that you don't give up. If you have a family member that's praying for something or a coworker or a loved one that's praying for something, remember what we learned on Friday Night Life. Don't give up. Don't give up hope. God can still do all things. One of the pictures that I want to recall was whenever we had 
the healing and deliverance session. And we were literally praying for each other. And the healing was happening. God was using us. Don't forget that. Just because you're not in a building doesn't mean that God can't use you. He's going to use you out there even more, I guarantee you. He's going to use your hand. When you extend your hand to pray for somebody else at your house, at your job, or wherever you decide to move your Friday night, God's going to be there. God's going to move. And I guarantee you that. If you can just understand and move past the fact that there may not be a Friday night place that you're going to go to that's a church, it's okay. Because bring the church to where you're at. Bring God to where your, your family's at. You, where your loved one's at. Where you, you've been praying for, you, I, God, I want you to move at, at my job. Well, on Friday, night, on Friday night, I challenge you. Invite your coworkers and you start something. You start something. I, I've got five coworkers that want to know more about God. All right, I'm going to start something. I'm going to have a Friday night fellowship meal at wherever and invite your coworkers to go and just talk to them, get to know them, get closer to them. Because here's the thing, while y'all are doing that out there and while we're doing that out there on a Friday, we're going to have something ready for you guys to bring them to on a Sunday. And we're going to have something that's amazing, something that's different, something that you're not going to be used to. Change is different. I know it's not something you want to get used to, but change is different. I'm glad that I changed. I used to be a big old boy, but I'm glad I changed. I, I, I used to, I may still be a big boy. It's okay. Never mind. But change can happen. And when change happens, it's good. One of the biggest changes in my life recently that I, I, I think is amazing is that um, I, I've been able to now experience nephews or a nephew on the way, and I have a Christian too. Change, change is something good. You're not used to it at first, but then change happens and you're, wow, it's beautiful. What does this change look like? What does this change mean? What is this change gonna, what is this change gonna have? Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I wanna invite Pastor Michael to come up and he's gonna tell us about that change. Pastor Michael. All right, thank you, Pastor Sam. Transitions and change, they, they, don't, they don't take place in a, in a vacuum, and they're never easy to do. But as a team, we sat together, we prayed, and we talked about it, we discussed hours, I would say hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours on this for the last 10 months. And this has been an ongoing conversation for even years before that. I was among the people that helped start the FNL. I was, there, I was, uh, I was here when we launched it because we had our youth program there. So FNL has some great things and there's some fond memories. But he also recognizes that the question we asked on Fridays when we met together as leaders and when I sit down with Pastor Khan, I ask, you know, what is the vision? What, where is VBC Houston heading? What, what are we about? I began to just the, last, you know, just the last year that I've been here just asking Pastor Khan these things. And we started formulating, started thinking about it and, and challenging our leaders to dream again, to dream again to start reaching out to what God is doing in and through us. And we started asking the question is, okay, here, here's what we need to do, regardless of whatever program we have. The question is, what does God want VBC Houston to do? And we started talking about it, and we saw that the, God wanted us to move forward. God wants VBC to be what he has called us to do. You, you know, we have, we've had prophetic words spoken over us as a church that would have thousands and that would reach out not only to the city but to the world. And, and we have been successful at that to some measure, but we, we believe that the best is right before us. And I'm so grateful to, to know that in our church here we have very talented people. We have people that the Lord has blessed with in a matter of months where your talent has just really shaped you to where it changes the trajectory of your life, if not your career. And so we're very excited about those things. But these transitions are never easy. But you know what? We want to set aside something that is producing some, some fruit for us, yes. But we want to imagine is that we want to do even greater things than what God has called us to do. And one of the things we recognize is that we needed to lay aside Friday. We needed to open those days so that, as Pastor Sam shared, we wanted to connect with each other. We want opportunities to even spend time with our family at home or whether it is to do a small group or what it is to provide training for our people. And we want uh, to make those things available. We want to be the best version of VBC that we can be. As Pastor um, Sam uh, alluded to, we want to put our energy also towards where we want to, uh, to where we can provide an excellent, an excellent worship service. We can change the worship experience so that the people you invite, they get to experience God in a holistic way. So imagine on a Sunday driving in and you, you're greeted by a wonderful signage and 
a parking lot where there's vibrant energy and there's you know, people greeting you and walking into a worship service where our children's ministry greets our families and the children are taken care of, but the parents are taken care of, the students are taken care of. Well, we come in and we worship and we recognize that God is at work and we leave knowing that we spent our time and it was so well that we wanted to stay longer, but we recognize that the majority of ministry does not take place in the building, but it takes place outside when we're actually engaging. That's what we want to see. I, I, want, I want you to look around right now, and you only see a fraction of VBC. Even if, you, even if we were to get together our audience on Sunday as well, I want you to know something is that the majority of VBCers that we see are not here yet. The majority of VBC years who are to take place here, who are to call this place home and throughout the different areas, even those you're online, they're not here yet. And so we need to be, re we're reminded again that we need to reach out and we need, to, we need to gather our resources and focus our energy on what God has called us to. And so we're excited about that. There are a lot of changes taking place. And if you haven't done so already, and you, if you're not receiving the newsletter, weekly newsletter, you get quick updates. Not only that, but uh, for those of you who are on the Dream Team, I will be sending out, we will be sending out a, a weekly newsletter for just quick updates. And I write in two style. One is quick outline for those of you who just don't like write, reading long emails. And for the, the others, I'll write it in detail if you need to know the story behind it. So every week you're going to get updates for those of you who are on the Dream Team. If you are on the Dream Team and you are not receiving those emails, please email us at grow at vbcweb.org. Again, grow, G-R-O-W, at vbcweb.org. Or check your spam mailbox, okay, and move it over so that we can get you. And here's the third thing to also so that you can keep posted. VBC app. If you have your iPhones or your Android, you can pull up VBC Houston. And we have a rough app that we're working on right now. I want to tell you something, okay? It is not the final product. But I want to ask that you download those, uh, that, that app. And you'll see in the coming days, you'll see some changes. But it's also a way for us to get push notifications so that you can get uh, the information that you need as well. On there, you'll have connections to all our um, messages. And also, for those of you who have friends with Connect Cards, you can also, it's also linked to our Facebook, and also you can give online as well. But VBC Houston is where you want to look in the App Store. But through that app, we're also going to do push notifications. So there are things happening right now. You don't see it. You don't see it, but I hope you sense it. You know, I was standing here, I just felt a sense of hope and excitement. Because it does, you know, when you close something, it is tough for those who have a connection to it. But I want to let you know, we're doing it for a good reason. We're doing it because we believe the Lord has called us to it. Uh, and, and when we do this, we're thinking for you. We're thinking for your families. We're thinking for how we can reach even further and so fulfill what God has called us to do. And you'll see the opportunities that you have as well. Pastor Khan in a little bit is going to come up and share well, just the overall vision of where, uh, what we're called to be as a church. And I hope you'll listen to that. And he's going to challenge you as well. What, what is it going to take to build something like that? I, I want you to, when you come to church, you're ex not only excited, but you're going to go home and you're going to get your friends. You're going to call your friends. You're going to Facebook them. And you're going to say, you know what? You're missing out. You need to come to a Sunday service because this can change your life. And we mean it. We mean it. We mean it. And so we want you to be able to say that beyond a shadow of doubt. When we say it, we mean it. And so we want you to continue to stay connected. And you may ask, okay, what I do in the meantime as I'm getting updates and what, what should I be doing? I just want to ask, and as I share with the leaders as well, hold your posts. Wherever you're at, if you're serving or if you are doing, you're helping in the areas of youth or if you're on the praise team, work on your vocals, strengthen your voice, become better. Go take some classes. Increase your capacity so that God can use you because in the coming season, when things move, it will move fast and you are a part of that great move. So may God bless you. And right now, I want to welcome Pastor Khan up as he comes up to share. If you will, please welcome my senior pastor Amen. as he share with you. Listen and respond. Our purpose for exist is VBC Houston were created with one purpose, to glorify God. And our mission is to make disciples of our nation. And we've been follow that mission for all this year. 15 years ago, when the young adult and the youth ministry and the young married couple 
we see a vision that we need to come together to, um, to have Friday night life in order for us to build, to disciple our people. And um, I can say it with um, certain that um, all of you in this place tonight can say that Friday night life have blessed your life. You are here, you save, you grow. All of that is because we have a purpose in mind. And we want um, now to give you the opportunity, your turn, to make a difference in people's life. In the parable of the Great Supper, we know that um, a master has sent out invitation to invite people to come to this great a feast that he prepared. And when everything is ready, he sent his servant go out and, and remind people the, the feast is ready. Come in and, and have a wonderful feast, a wonderful great supper. But the story tells us in the parable of Jesus you know, that people will come give all kind of excuse and say, oh, I just buy a pair of ox and I need to go and see them. I just buy a, a field and so on. And they give all kind of excuse not to come. And so the master tell the people, go out into the country, go out on the highway, go out on, um, the, around the fence, the, the hedge, and compel people to come in to fill my house so that you can enjoy the blessing that I prepare for them. And that is what we want to do. So many of us have been blessed by fighting a life. And we cannot forget that there is other people out there need to have that kind of impact, that kind of blessing in their life. So now it's our turn to go and gather the people, compel them to come. And as leadership team, we pray and we study. And it's always um, you know, a challenge for us. Is uh, people respond to Friday, I mean Sunday morning. So we will focus all our energy in order for us to uh, compel people and bring them in to the place that they can have an encounter with God, the gospel can share with them, the cup of salvation can be served to them, and they will be saved. And we want to see that happen. We want to make a bigger impact and open up to more people. With the vision of 7,000 people um, will come and worship with the VBC. Uh, we want to enlarge our net. We want to enlarge our uh, capacity so we can serve more people. So more people can be saved and feel God's house. And that's what we want to do. And our approach, our strategy to evangelism in Houston is our Sunday services. We have English service in the morning, uh, 9 in the morning, and we have the 11, 11 o'clock uh, service for the Vietnamese. Um, we have come to um, the place that we no longer call ourselves Vietnamese Baptist Church. We redefine that VBC is an American church. American church in the sense that we are melting pot. We are the salad bowl that we have. All kinds of people look around. Not all here is, is Vietnamese. And as an American church, we want to serve to and open up for more people to come. Uh, that's the goal that God has for our life, that the, the gospel of the kingdom have to preach to our nation. And this is the opportunity for us to do. So our strategy, our approach to uh, evangelism in Houston is our uh, Sunday service, uh, where we serve our guests, the first cup of salvation. And our strategy for evangelism outside of Houston is to plant more church, planting church, and strengthen um, churches and on mission. And you know that we uh, send money and support and our main power to go out there and impact uh, elsewhere. Our international sides of 
uh, ministry is growing tremendously with hundreds of thousands of people out there. And um, we believe that we can do even more when our local church here in Houston uh, get bigger. We want to launch a more dynamic Sunday service because our four uh, focus of um, dynamic weekend service is celebration, inspiration, with prepar- preparation and salvation. These four focus that we will focus on when we gather together is will be a celebration time. As a family, after a whole week that we, we ministry elsewhere at our home and then working uh, at, at workplace and the marketplace, now we come together and have a big celebration. It will be inspiration, We're leading by the Holy Spirit and feel and packed with the, the power of God and the preparation for our people to get ready and go out there and start minister to people from Monday to Saturday. And of course, we want to see salvation take place. We want to create a wow factor every time uh, people come into our service in the future. Look at me in this picture. Church is a family expecting guest. Church is a family expecting guest. Let's say I invite you to come to my house for dinner. I would put um, great effort in, into getting ready for your visit. I would be sure that my home give up the best possible impression uh, of me when you come to my house. For the meal, I would be sure to make a dish that you would enjoy. When you arrive, I should be ready to show you around, make sure that you know where the bathroom is, and give you the most comfortable place for you to sit and enjoy your time in my home. And I will prepare for your coming. I would be able to treat you with the hospitality that you deserve. Now, Church VBC Houston, we are the family expecting guests to come. Just picture with me the Sunday that we relaunch our service. 240 parking spots out there is we pack with cars. And as soon as people come into our parking lot, uh, guests begin to make the impression about our ministry. Because we understand the lasting nature of first impression uh, that people are matter. There's 14, 13 things that I want to say that we will work together to make VBC Houston like a home, a family that expecting guests get ready to bring more people into the kingdom. Number one, we need to know the number one goal. Number one goal is one them to come back. Because if they not come back, we don't know what happened to their life. Salvation, discipleship, baptism, and leadership. We're not able to uh, train them and equip them on that. And I believe that every time when God sends somebody to VBC, our responsibility is to help them, to move them from where they are to where they should be. And it's like all of us work together to help them and to accomplish that. I want to see uh, people uh, come and have a lasting impact in their life, and they will come back and say, um, Last Sunday, service is bless my life tremendously. And not only am I returned today myself, but here is my family. We want to see them come back with everyone that they can invite. Number, number two, I, step number two, I want church, VBC, we need to understand. We need to know why unchurch, uh, unchurch. Why people not come to church? The unchurched um, said that they 
don't want to come to church because number one, servers are boring. And we need a lot of effort for us to make a wow factor when they come into our service and they say, no, this is exciting. This is, this is a new kind of church that I long to belong to. They also said the members are unfriendly. We want to change that too. We want to uh, get ourselves ready. As the greeting team, we see people as soon as they get into our parking lot. We have parking team go out there and see people, and as they open the door coming in, we have our greeter will see them there and direct them to where they need to be. Drop off their kid, sign them in, where the restroom and where we, we want them to know that at least then when they walk into uh, VBC Houston campus, they will be at least three times greeted by people with friendly face, and we want to give them a good first impression. They also said the church just want my money. We want to let them know that we're here to serve them, not just want their money. That's the last thing we want to do for them because we want to see their soul to be saved and there will be their name written in the book of life into the kingdom of God. They also said that uh, what will happen to my kid uh, at church? And if that is not good, then I will not come. We want to beef up our children ministry and um, we want to see that Children will be welcome. They will have um, a good time as we uh, strengthen our uh, children ministry. We want to make a, an impress on them uh, within the first 10 minutes. The first impression are vital. First song in our service is supposed to be intentional. Welcome is intentional, and even the pre service video is intentional. And our production team working hard on that, our media team working hard. And we implement some of that already. And you see that we want to help people have the, um, the whole worship experience. Because nowadays, it's not in my generation. You can throw us a book and just give us a corner and we stay there for hour after hour. But today, we recognize that the new generation, in order for them to learn, they need to hear sound, they need to see motion, motion picture. All of that has become an experience for them. And we want to have our worship service will be an, an experience, a dynamic experience for people to have an encounter with God. From the song that we sing to the message that we share with them, and they pray that we pray over them and minister to them. They walk out from here, be blessed. That's what we want to say. Whatever uh, we want to do in day to come, my brother and sister, it takes a lot of work. Um, that um, we need a whole team that we pour our uh, talent, our time together to serve people. And our multiple service uh, will be helped with dream team serve one worship one and we will together bring everybody uh, to the place that we can have an encounter with God every Sunday when we come to worship together we put our energy and resource into great praise and worship we want people to have an encounter with God uh, when they worship when they sing, when they praise. Many times people have shared with me that uh, while they stand there and praise and worship, God already touched them. As you know that there is a lot of people, they come in with uh, uh, sickness in their body. And as they stand and praise and worship with God, God heal them directly before we're able to lay hand on them and pray for them, minister to them. We want to have that kind of praise and worship uh, in day to come, that when people come in, uh, it's not just sing some song, but really enter into the presence of God. Children ministry, they want to see that it will be well staffed, safe, clean, and fun. Uh, we will have more 
security team over there, safety team over there to help, and we want to save our treasure, uh, keep them safe, because children are very important for us. We want every visitor be greeted warmly, but allow them to remain anonymous, um, because we know them as we greet them in the foyer before they enter into the service. And everything we will focus on excellence. Right now, because we have spread our energy and our manpower to many services, um, we cannot do excellent. Excellent don't have to be expensive. Excellent don't have to be um, big. But use well what we have at hand. And so in day to come, we want to focus on excellence. Everything that we do was so excellent. The people who walk out from here, they say, oh, that church, they do things so well. And they benefit from it. As far as our message is concerned, we will focus on answer three vital questions. Who is my audience? Because right now we serve a very diverse group. But we want to focus on when we relaunch our English service. We have the unchurched in mind. We welcome them. We don't want to pull a church member from other church. We want to focus on the unchurched. That's why we need your help to go there, out there, on the highway, around the fence, see anybody, compel them to come to feel God's house. That is what we want to do. And that's what we need you to give. You have been blessed by Friday Night Life all this year. Now it's our turn together to let the rest of Houston, those who we're able to bring them in, we were blessed like us. So I call and challenge you. Number one, adjust your schedule and give priority to Sunday. Friday, um, as Pastor Sam and Pastor Michael have mentioned, we open up uh, for a small group, uh, different meeting, but not every Sunday, I mean every Friday. So adjust your schedule, and we will focus our, our, all our energy to Sunday morning, because that's where we can um, minister to the most people that we can do. So adjust your schedule, give priority to Sunday. That means now you have Friday night live off. So you have Friday night um, available. You can do things and start today. You can go sleep early. So you can wake up early and come here ready to welcome more people into the kingdom of God so they can receive the benefit that you have been benefited all this year. I encourage you to join the dream team. You have uh, studied and accessed your giftedness, your ability, your passion. You have been identified with the dream team, different dream team. Join our dream team. Get ready. Help us get ready for this day that we will unveil VBC again to the rest of Houston. Commit to invite people to come. Like Jesus have told in this uh, parable, the parable of the great uh, feast, we need to compel people. We need to help them, bring them here. And we will work together to the point that every one of us will be so confident that our friend, when they come in, they will be blessed. They will be impact because we all put our head together, our energy together, and use like all the gift that God has graced us with here at VBC. So when people are coming in, in the same, you can be proud to invite your friend come to VBC without feel awkward, without feel embarrassed. You want them to come in and they say, wow, this is the family that I want to join. And most of all, pray for VBC. 
join the intercession team begin to pray because every time when we want to expand the kingdom of God the enemy hate it they don't want us to grow the, the church they don't want us to see um, pounds and the people come into the kingdom that's why each and every one of you every day spend 10-15 minutes pray for VBC God has placed us at a great position internationally people longing and looking for the church that have this kind of dynamic and we see the book of Acts happen in our life and our church life almost every day we see people get healed um, set free if you can hear the testimony and praise report of our adult the Vietnamese while they beautify people cut their hair, color their hair, highlight their hair, or um, do their manicure, pedicure. They share the gospel. And when they see people cannot bend over because they have back problem and they have sickness, they minister to them. And you have, can hear hundreds of people have been healed uh, outside of VBC. We want to expand this and share this blessing to much more people. So pray for VBC that we will continue to grow and we will expand our territory. We will bring more people into the kingdom of God. Commit to serve and bring more people to encounter God at VBC. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You have been blessed. I can look down to the congregation right now and I will see so many of you have shared with me how VBC have blessed your life. It's about time for us to share this wealth to the rest of Houston because many more people need to hear, need to benefit from what God has graced VBC with. And um, I want to see all of us together um, multiply the number of people to come into the kingdom of God. And we can do it. Because God has graced you with a wonderful blessing. That you have giftedness, you have the ability, you have experienced God in a way that not many people go to church here in America experience. There's a lot of churches that people, when they go out, they say, oh, it's just business as usual. They come in and sing some song. They come in and do some church business but left empty but here we be see almost every time that we come together god meet us in a special way and we need to share that with the rest of houston amen amen did you see the vision did you hear the the sound of people uh coming to vbc in day to come if you can hear that, you can hear this great number of people come in and be blessed by VBC. Then I invite you and I challenge you. Tonight, let me say it again. Put down the effort to prioritize, adjust your schedule. We want Friday night to stop so we can have more time and energy open toward Sunday. So adjust your schedule. If you obey the mandate, the great commission that Jesus gave it to us, then we need to prioritize our schedule and say, Sunday will be the time that I will see action, I will see people saved into the kingdom and rescued from the hand of the devil. Join the dream team. Make sure that you serve somewhere because there is a place that you will grow the most. Uh, you don't want to be fat Christian. Just take in and just eat and receive and receive without serve. And um, unfortunately, here in America, we have a lot of fat Christian that just sit, study, and take in and take in and take in what in this for me? It's about time for us to get moving 
and help a lot of people um, join the kingdom of God. Commit to invite people to come. Begin to work on that. We will help you with um, material and we'll train you and equip you to talk to people and invite them to come. We'll give you literature. We'll give you um, business card all of that will come um, into handy in your hands so you can uh, draw people come to service on the day that we uh, relaunch our English service. Now, all the service is still going on on Sunday. Uh, and, and Tuesday, we will have um, revival prayer meeting and church grow uh, prayer meeting will continue to go on Wednesday and Thursday for the Vietnamese um, will continue to go on. For those of you who have benefit from Friday night um, training, the school of ministry, now you find uh, on Wednesday the place that is close to where you live and join us there. This will be at King Solomon Service, corner of Cook and Bel Air. And if you live in the southeast side, uh, south 45 of Houston, then we have a uh, Thursday night Bible study. We host on um, um, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Tan Huang uh, house, and we continue to meet there, and you will have a good training there. So uh, reschedule your schedule, and uh, we'll continue to push forward. To see more people will be saved into the kingdom. Amen? Are you excited to see more of your friends and people get saved? Are you excited to see that our family will be grow and we'll see more people join the, the kingdom of God? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Let me ask you that um, in the quietness of your heart, that you will say to God that I commit to this vision to share the blessing with people who have not heard the gospel in their life. And for some of you, you know that. You know how it feels. The first time when you came to uh, Friday night, you hear the word, you hear the message, and God touched you in a special way. You came up, and you invite him to come into your life, and you see the rest of history now. Your life is so changed. You're so blessed. Just imagine, together we can multiply that experience to hundreds, to thousands of people. That will be a blessing. So in the quietness of your heart, begin to pray and make commitment to this vision and say, Lord, I... I commit to be a strong player in the dream team of VBC. Bring people in, serve in different teams to make service experience will be a wild wow factor for our friend and our loved one when they come into our campus. In the quietness of your heart, if you've been received so much, but not um, able to give, then it's time that I call you to say, I cannot be selfish anymore. We need the missing piece in our dream team is you. And we invite you to come in and fill our team with your presence because sometimes that missing piece is the answer for many things. And we want to see you serve alongside with us. You see, great things will happen in day to come. And for some of you, make a commitment and say, I will reschedule my schedule. Prioritize on Sunday. Just imagine when I invite you to come to my house for dinner. And when you pull up to my driveway and you ding on the doorbell, 
I'm, I'm not home. What a disappointment. But if you come and by the time you ready to pull into my driveway, you see my car is there. You can smell the food, especially Vietnamese food. That when we cook, the egg roll, the whole neighborhood can smell it. Just imagine when our guests come on Sunday morning, and our parking lot is filled with our dream team, filled with your car, your vehicle. That we say, oh, this is warm. This is so welcome. I want to see that take place. That means we need to show up early and get ourselves ready to welcome our guests, to usher them into the kingdom of God through our worship experience. Father, we thank you for this church. We well, thank you for the vision that you have for VBC. Thank you, Lord, that in 1983, you come and you touch and you reveal your plan to a young man back then, a Bible school student, and you share with him. What you want to do in Houston, Texas? We thank you, Lord, for your hand over VBC all this year, from the minutes that we established until today. That you help us walk from miracle to miracle, from blessing to blessing. And Lord, we're grateful that you have blessed VBC. And cause us to be a blessing for so many people, not only here in Houston, but elsewhere in the world. Just remind me, Lord, that this week I was to talk to somebody all the way from Israel, worship with us on Sunday via the internet. Be grateful that you have allowed us to make an impact. On people live, so so far away. We thank you, Lord. Our heart desire to want to see more people will be touched and blessed. So I ask that Holy Spirit, you come up on your church right now, Lord. This group of people in your presence right now, fill us afresh again with your Spirit. Activate the gift. Of the Holy Spirit in our life, Lord, so we can serve you the way that you want us to serve you, with the gift, the ability, and the passion that you have placed in our life. So together, we can see many more people get saved, and your family, Lord, will ever increase. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Would you stand with me as we celebrate and praise the Lord with this last song? May Him remind us again and again in these weeks and months as we get ourselves ready to welcome more people into the kingdom of God. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Let's do this. You heard the call. You know there's a great need. We know many of you guys have talents and abilities there. But we want to ask that you respond to the message. What we need are people to commit to showing up. Commit to using your gifts and your availability for God. And so if you hear the message of what Pastor Khan shared, and you want to respond to that message, I want to call right now. For those of you who just want to come up, we want to pray for you. For those of you who just want to say, you know what, I want to be on the dream team. If you're ready on the dream team, come on up and let us pray for you. If you have not uh, joined the dream team yet and you want to be prayed for, come on up. So right now, we want to pray for you. So we want to invite everyone in here who wants God to use them in the next season as a part to say, you know what, I commit to VBC. I commit to using my talents, my skills. I commit to doing what God has called me to do, to take part, so that, I, so that our Sunday morning relaunch, so that our Sunday worship could be the avenue to which we would see hundreds if not thousands of people come to Christ. So right now, I want to open the altar right now, those of you who want to receive prayer, just come on up, let's not waste time. But those of you who are standing down there, if you feel that you're not ready yet, that's quite okay. But I want to encourage you, those of you who want to be prayed for, let me pray for you. Let us speak, let us speak over you. Let us pray that your gifting will be active and move into the next place. Let us pray that God will activate in you something far greater. That you will work and that you will minister from the capacity to which God has given you. That you can reach out to where you have been called. So that you're no longer just speaking formalities. But that you are actually blessing people. That you're not only just sharing funny stories. But you are ministering to people where lives are being changed. Where we're not just talking about just gathering to laugh and just to smile. But we're talking about joy. Joy, joy, joy. So come on up and let us pray for you. If you come on up here, Pastor Khan and myself, we'll pray for you. We'll lay hands on you. Those of you who are ready in the, in the dream team, let us pray for you. Those of you who are currently on the praise team, going up here next to Patricia, let me pray for you right now. For those of you who are on the praise team, if you're up here already, you're on the uh, auto visual, PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint, my goodness, BB5, all the other visuals, sound, come right here. Let me pray for you right now. On my right hand side, if you just sense you have untapped, untapped giftings, untapped abilities and strength that you have not quite, you just haven't, you just don't know what to do with it or you haven't figured it out, right here. When I finish praying over there, I'm going to come over and pray for you. All right? Blessing your life in Kevin, Lord, that his life as he committed to this vision to see more people saved into the kingdom, to see more people be served, to see more people able to come into the, the wedding, the great feast that you have prepared, Lord, as that you were anointed him. Lord, I ask that you unlock and activate the gift that you have raised in his life, Lord, that people will be blessed through his service. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. But I pray that you will continue to